welcome back and as you can see i brought back the pixie wig that you all love and i wanted to do a very cute holiday get ready with me but i have to put my own spin on it today's video is in partnership with magiclinks.com and shophush.com which offers a ton of affordable goodies for some of the more popular high-end makeup out on the market they have so many affordable items so definitely check them out check the description box and there is it's going to be a giveaway all the details will be below so make sure you check them out I was excited to try the Beauty Treats Sugar Lip Scrub. This is in the flavor strawberry or the scent strawberry. It honestly smells good and it even tastes good. I thought about eating it, but I was like, okay, let's not. It doesn't say it's edible, but it's definitely great at exfoliating the lips and giving a smooth finish. I like to follow up by using Aquaphor to help moisturize the lips. Next, I'm going in with my Fig and Yaro Rose Hip Argon Facial Serum. This is very lightweight, but it's very hydrating and I prefer it during the winter time. Next, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer and applying this with a brush around my eyebrows, my oily T-zone, and just at the lower jaw because I do have some areas of breakouts and this is going to give me a smooth finish. Now, a good brow day is not always the easiest to come by, but I wanted to show you guys my process on how I do my brows. I just use a standard brow pencil. It's nothing too elaborate. I definitely find that my shape changes but you know you know my my brows are like cousins you know maybe distant cousins estranged cousins you know three four five times removed you know but nonetheless I get it done I like to use a concealer to highlight and define the brow and next I'm going in with this eyeshadow from the bad habit Aphrodite palette and admire it's like a nice orange brown it's very beautiful and I just like to use that as a transition color and then I'm going in with lust on a fluffy blending brush and then I'm going to take a pointed eyeshadow brush and apply that right in the area of the crease next I'm gonna wipe away the excess these shadows are very buttery so there is some fallout and here I'm going in with my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in medium beige and this is going to allow me to begin to cut the crease or give the illusion of a cut crease and this is going to be the base for the glitter. The neater you are, the better the finished look will be. Next, I'm going in with the Beauty Creations Glitter Primer. This is actually really good. It allows the glitter to adhere to the mobile lid. Now I'm going in with Beauty Creations Rosebud Loose Glitter. And this is a cosmetic glitter. It's definitely safe to apply on the lids and I love it. It's not super chunky, but it really has a lot of reflect in it. So your eyes are gonna be gleaming. You're gonna be the center of attention at the holiday party. This may look tedious, but it's not. The glitter primer makes it a lot easier. Now I'm just buffing away the excess glitter or fallout, and I'm gonna apply Jealousy on the outer perimeter of my eyelid from the Aphrodite palette. And I'm going to start drawing it forward towards the inner eye. I really want to carve out my eye shape. Next, I'm going to drag Jealousy underneath my eye to really intensify this look. Here, I'm using my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in Medium Beige to kind of take away some of the redness. I'm just creating an even canvas before applying my NARS Velvet Skin Tint in the shade Malaga. This stuff is super pigmented. I typically would just pile on, you know, the concealer, but I'm being very modest with this. You guys can see the coverage on this is gorgeous. You guys love when I wear this, which is why it's my all-time favorite. It's oil-free. It's perfect for my sensitive skin. Now I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and I'm going to use this just under the Jealousy eyeshadow from the Aphrodite palette. This is going to really brighten up the under eye and I'm going to drag it a little bit lower than normal because I want to be beaming. You know I'm extra. 
And I'm going to apply this to the center of my nose as well as around my cupid's bow and the chin and then I'm going to use this beauty creations beauty sponge this sponge diffuses away the concealer it gives it that airbrush feel for this price this sponge is on point see how good it looks it looks so good now I'm taking my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and I am cutting my cheeks a lot higher than normal. When I wear this pixie cut, I have to make sure I am chiseled. So I'm applying this, you know, just above the cheekbones and the forehead, just below my mouth and buffing this out with a Luxie Beauty angled brush. I really love this brush for the contour and then I really like to blend this to perfection. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Now I'm going back in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer because I want to carve out my brows even more and also highlight the brow bone. This gives a super dramatic look but it also helps to diffuse the eyeshadow near the crease so it looks like an airbrushed finish, very soft and it's not harsh. Now I'm taking Lust and just dragging this with a very small brush, very thin brush in the crease. And now I'm going to apply the Koi eyeshadow right in the area of the crease to set the Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm mixing the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Finishing Powder with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love these two together. I do a lot because I have incredibly oily skin and I find that this yields the best results. I know this may not be for everybody. You may not like the powdered donut look, but girl, it gives me the results I need. And I'm just buffing this away with a super fluffy Kabuki brush. I'm going to contour my cheeks using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this palette. The powders aren't blotchy, very smooth. And I'm going in with Tees from the Aphrodite Palette. Believe it or not, my eyeshadow look and the highlight is from the Aphrodite Palette. This is an all-in-one palette, which I love. This palette costs $10, sis. I'm going to spritz my face with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. Next, I'm going in with the Lashes for Days and this is a really good mascara. It's good at lengthening and it provides a bit of volume, but it's really good to lengthen the lashes. Next, I'm going in with this QIC Kill Black Double Eyeliner Pencil. I was very nervous about this because you know, I love a precise line and I don't always like a felt tip finish, but this eyeliner pencil, look at my wing liner. I did not use any additional product to fill in my winged liner. This is all the QIC. So if you guys want this, you're a beginner and you want to have more control when you do your wing, this is a great product to have. Off screen, I did go in and use a little bit of the NYC liquid eyeliner over the glitter. That's the only area where the pencil just didn't create the perfect line that I envisioned. Now I'm going to apply these Ardell lashes, but definitely check out their Cara Wispy lashes. They are gorgeous, they give a natural finish. I just wanted a little bit more of a dramatic look, so that's why I didn't use those lashes here. And these are like the double up lashes, so they're super, super dramatic. And I just learned how to apply my lashes, so I'm looking down to apply my lashes. I've been wearing lashes for a long time, and this is the best method. It took me so long to learn. I'm 
going in with a lip pencil from MAC in Cyber and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to follow up by using MAC Dark Side. You guys love when I wear this lipstick. Like everybody loved this combination because this is the exact look I wore from my live stream and I love the satin creamy finish of this lipstick. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy. Happy holidays. Take care of yourself. Spend your time with people that you love. Subscribe. Make sure you join the family. Give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling the look. To meet me in the comments, sound off below. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Come on! Put off the red nose, reindeer. Out of every shiny nose, boom. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it close. Come on, come on.